Alright, this video is on finding the least common multiple, method D. So in class we have looked at three methods. Method A was listing the multiples. So this is on method D. Method B works best when determining the LCM of just two numbers. If you have more than two numbers, it gets a little more complicated to use method B. But if you're working with just two um, composite numbers, this method works really well. Okay. So, step one is to calculate the product of the two numbers you've been asked to determine the LCM for. So, for example, let's say that we were asked to find the least common multiple of 9 times 6. So, the first thing that we're going to do is say, well, what is 9 times 6? Well, 9 times 6 is equal to 54. Okay, so we need to keep this number in mind as we move on. So, step one, find the product of the two numbers that you've been asked to find the least common multiple for. So in this example, what is the LCM of 9 and 6? We've been asked to find the product of 9 times 6, which is 54. Step 2, determine the greatest common factor of the two numbers you've been asked to find the least common multiple for. So our numbers were 9 and 6. So I'm going to use my factor tree to find the greatest common factor. 9 was 3 times 3, and 6 is 2 times 3. So I want to line up my numbers so that I can determine which prime factor appears in both numbers, and it is 3. So the greatest common factor here is 3. So now I have two numbers. I have a product of 54 and a GCF of 3. Step three is to find the quotient of the product from step one and the GCF from step two. So my product from step one was 54. My GCF from step two was three. So, I mean, from step two was three. Now, step three says to find the quotient. So you're going to divide the product by the GCF. So I'm going to divide 54 by three. So three will go into five one time with 2 left over, I bring down my 4, and 3 will go into 24 8 times. Okay? The number uh, that you find here is your LCM. So, the LCM, the LCM of 6 and 9 is 18. Okay? Let's do another example. Alright, what is the LCM of 12 and 8? So step one says that we need to first find the product of 12 and 8. So I'm going to say 12 times 8. This is going to give me 96. Okay? Then I want to find my GCF. So 12 is 2 times 6. I'm going to stop here at this 2 because it's a prime. I can't branch off this tree anymore. 6 is 2 times 3. And again, I'm at my primes. So for 12, my prime factors are 2 times 2 times 3. And then I'm going to do my factor tree for 8. 2 times 4. And 4 is 2 times 2. And I'm going to write down my prime factors of 8. Now if you don't remember how to find your greatest common factor using the tree method, we do have a video on that. So you may want to refresh um, on the GCF if you're unfamiliar on how to do that. So now I look at my two rows and I say, okay, what prime factors are, do I see appear in both rows? Well, I see a 2 in both rows and another 2. Now, since I saw one set of 2's, I multiply by, that by the other set. So 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So 4 is my GCF. Step 3 then says to take my product, 96, and divide it by the GCF, which was 4. So 4 will go into 9 2 times, that's 8, 9 minus 8 is 1, I bring down my 6, 4 will go into 16 4 times, so my LCM is 24, okay? So the LCM of 12 and 8 is 24, okay? Alright, using this method, now you try. There are three problems, and I would suggest you stop the video on a separate sheet of paper, 
do step one, step two, and step three to find your LCM, and then resume play on the video to see the answers. Number one, what is the LCM of 9 and 15? Number two, what is the LCM of 10 and 16? Number three, what is the LCM of 12 and 18? At this time, please pause the video and work with method B in determining the least common multiple. All right, let's go over the solutions. For question number one, what is the LCM of 9 and 15? And so the first thing I did was I found my product, 9 times 15 is 135. And then I determined my GCF using my factor tree. And I had these threes match up, so my GCF was 3. And then I had, I took my product of 135 and I divided it by 3. 3 we're going to 13 four times, that's 12. 15 remaining. And 3 we're going to 15. Um, five times, so the answer is 45 for number one. The LCM of 9 and 15 is 45. All right, number two, the um, LCM of 10 and 16. I first found my product of 10 times 16 to be 160. I then found my greatest common factor using the factor tree for 10 and 16, and I determined my GCF to be 2. Then, in step three, I took my product and divided it by my um, greatest common factor, so I said 160 divided by 2, and that was 80, so the least common multiple of 10 and 16 is 80. Question number 3, the um, least common multiple of 12 and 18, so again, I said 12 times 18, I got 216. I then used my factor tree to determine the prime factors. And I then lined them up and found that I had a set of twos that match and a set of threes that match. So I said two times three because those were my matching numbers and I got six. And so then in step three, I had to take my product of 216 and divide it by my greatest common factor. So six, or, um, 216 um, divided by six is 36. So six will go into 216 36 times. So the least common multiple of 12 and 18 is 36. Again, this was method B of finding the least common multiple, and it is really useful when you have um, just two composite numbers. So if you're asked to find the least common multiple of um, two numbers, and they're both composite numbers, this is a good method to use.